Hey guys, in this tutorial, I will show you how to update data in Firebase real-time database. In previous tutorials, I explained how to create a user interface for a contact list app, and then I explained how to insert data to Firebase real-time database and how to display them in a recycler view. In this tutorial, I will show you how to swipe a recycler view to right to update the data. And to see how to update Firebase real-time database in action, on the left, we have all the contacts that we have in our database, and on the right side, we have displayed all the context that we have. As you can see, we have James Haidt in our recycler view and in our database. And to update this to James Hart, and if you click on update, the contact has been changed in both our Firebase real-time database and in our recycler view. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, we have add contact dialog fragment class, and this is responsible for a dialog fragment to add data to Firebase. So we can make something similar to this to update our data. So what we can do is just to copy this and paste it in the same place so the UI package and then we need to change this add to update and then we need to copy the XML file as well and paste it on the same place so copy this one and then paste it in layout so that we have a duplicate file and then we need to change this add to update and click on refactor and just like that we have both of them so now we can update this file so we have add contact and save contact we need to change edit contact and update contact so go to split mode and in here we can just change this add new contact to edit contact and then we do not have this class name in our string file so if you go there as you can see we do not have edit contact so there are two ways we either create a string name with edit contact and then we put edit contact here or we can just do it here and to do this we can just go to create string value and then we type it here so edit contact and click on ok and just like that we have it here and the second one is this save contact we can just say update contact contact and since we don't have it we need to create it so update contact and click on ok and this is it and lastly we need to change this button add to button update so that we do not get confused so update and now we need to go back to our update contact dialog fragment and in this class we need to accept one parameter which would be contact with the type of contact class that we have so we need to accept a contact number so that we update it and if you go to on created view we need to update a few things here and first we do not need this so we need to delete that and we need to change this from button add to button update and the reason that we have an error here because our binding does not have the right path so we are binding to add contact dialog not update contact dialog so if you delete this and we need to have fragment update contact dialog binding and then we need to change this to update as well so delete the add and change it to update and just like that we are referring to the right xml file and hence we do not have an error here so we do have a button update update ID in our binding. So before we go inside the action that we want to do once the button is clicked, this class is accepting one contact number. So once a contact number has been passed, we need to display the name and a contact number in the text field. So we need to access our binding and then dot edit text full name and then set text. We need to pass the contact that we have and then dot full name. And the reason that we do not find our contact, which we have it here, is because we need to define it as private val. So this would be accessed in only inside this class. The second one is binding dot edit contact, and then we need to set the text and then contact and then dot contact number. So what we are doing is that once we swipe to left, we want to get that object and send it to update contact dialog fragment and then get these values and display it. So this is is what we are doing we are setting a text of that contact to the text full name and this could be found in our fragment update contact dialog as you can see we are binding it to this field so that the user knows what they are typing or updating so if you go back to update contact dialog fragment once we set these texts we need to get an action so if the user clicked on this button which is save contact and then we need to get these values and change it to string and trim it because we do not know know if the value has been changed or not and then we need to validate it in case the user has submitted an empty string which we do not want and then we do not need to create a new contact we just want to refer to the same object so we are 
setting the full name to the full name inside that contact object and then contact number to the contact number inside the object and then we need to call view model dot update contact function which we will create in a bit and then pass the new contact so that we save it remember that we do have a contact view model class which acts as a controller so our logic will be there such as adding a contact displaying a contact updating or delete so we need to create the function of updating contact in contact view model class so once we have updated that we need to dismiss our fragment dialog and then we need to show a toast message make text we need to pass context and then the text contact has been updated and then the length of the toast which is short and then we need to show the message so once we have done this we need to remove this because we are not adding a contact we are updating a contact and we do have an error here because we do not have a function called update contact inside view model so let's go to view model and create that function so let's create that function right above on clear so function update contact and this would accept contact with the type of contact and the way to update is similar as adding a new contact but we have to refer to the right id we need to get a db contacts object um, which is the connection to our firebase and then we need to specify which child we are updating and we need to pass the contact dot id and this should not be null and then we are setting a value to this and the value is the contact object so we are just passing the object and we need to add on complete listener so that we know if the contact has been updated or not so if it is successful then we need to update our private result mutable live data so that we observe on this result in our fragment contact if there is an error we need to display it so we need to get the result and then dot value and we set this to null else we need to show the exception or the error that we have so result dot value and this is equal to it dot exception and this way we can observe from this if we have an exception we need to display it and this is it for this function and now we need to go to child event listener we had this object in the previous video where we had a snapshot of the database so we need to take a snapshot of our database that you have so that we know if if a new contact has been added we need to display it and this works the same for updating and then you just you need to copy this and paste it here so we are getting a contact object which is a snapshot of our database get the values and the values is a contact java class you need to specify the id get the id from the snapshot.key this is the id for that object we set it to the contact object and then we need to add it to our contact mutable live data so we do have a contact live data here mutable live data data and then we need to add it to this so that we get it in other classes so we can observe on this live data we have explained this in the previous tutorial so if you have not watched them i really recommend you to watch them because you will get familiar with the structure that you have and lastly we need to go to contacts fragments class in this class we need to enable the swipe for our recycler view so we need to enable a simple callback so that we know if the user has swiped to left or right we need that for updating and deleting data so let's do this in our contacts fragment you need to go down just above on destroy method let's create our simple callback object so private var and then we will call it simple callback and this would equal to an object with type item touch helper and then we need to call simple callback and we need to specify the drag direction and swipe direction so we have four directions either left and right or we drag it up and down um, we do not want to drag it up and down therefore we will just pass zero for the drag directions but for the swipe we need it so item touch helper dot we do have two directions so we have left and then or item touch helper dot right so we either swap it to left to delete data or right to update data we need to open the curly braces and we do have an error because we need to implement few members which is on move and on swipe by just implementing these we do not 
want on move uh, because we said we do not want to drag up and down so just return true to this however we do need to specify what we do if the user has swiped to or left and right and here we need to specify the position of the contact so which contact has been swiped so let's create a variable for position and we will call view holder that we just have and then dot adapter position would get us the position of that car view and we will use this to specify our contact so we do have an array of contacts in contact adapter we have contacts mutable list data so this is the list of the contacts that we have so we need to get this in our contacts fragments just right here so let's create another variable and we will call it current contact and this would equal to adapter dot contact and then we need to set the position so this is why we need the position of that contact so we need to specify whether the user has swapped to left and right so when and we do have a direction object and then we have item touch helper and this should be either left and right so we need to have the right one and once the user swipe to right uh, we need to call our update contact dialog fragment class and then we need to pass the current contact because this class is accepting one parameter or object and then we need to show um, fragment dialog and then we need to pass our child fragment manager and just pass an empty tag and just like that we know which item has been swiped on if the user has swiped to right we need to call update contact dialog fragment the one that we have just created and this class is accepting one contact which is the current contact and then we need to show the dialog fragment so this class would be responsible for showing the data or the contact that we have and then we can modify it and click on update contact which ultimately go to view model and then trigger this update contact and update it so our simple callback is ready we need to call it on view create it and just right below get real-time update we need to create one object which we will call it item touch helper and this would equal to item touch helper and we need to pass our simple callback to this so we are passing our simple callback to our item touch helper and then we need to get that item touch helper and then attach it to the recycler view so we need to get the id of our recycler view contacts which we will get it from our binding dot recycler view contact so we need to do one more thing we need to get to our adapter and call notify data set change on that class because we need to update our recycler view so binding dot recycler view contact and then dot adapter and in here we need to call notify data set change and this would update everything so in our contact adapter we just have the recycler view so we are binding our text view and the contact number and here we are showing how many contacts that we have so in the previous video we created this context to check if contact exists or not if not then add it so in else we need to update the contact so contacts and then we need to have the index which we do not have we will get it from above and then we set that contact that we are passing so just right above our index we need to create an index so we get the index from our contacts and then dot index off and then that would be the contact so we are passing the contact and we are checking what is the index of this contact in our mutable list of contacts and once we get that index we are just passing it to this the reason that we have an error because we are referring to the wrong one so it's a contacts not contact so this is it guys and to see the result let's run our app all right guys so we have two contacts so far we have john smith and james hart and if we swipe to right a pop-up dialog would appear so that we can edit and let's change this to james hate let's say and then if you click on update contacts as you can see our contact has been updated all right guys so this is it if you really like this video please consider subscribing and click on the bell notification so that you do not miss on anything and see you guys in the next video